So I'm going to show you today how to create uh, different levels. Um, so we're going to actually use the backdrops to do that. And I'll delete this backdrop so you can see it from scratch. And I'll delete this thing. Well, you can choose. So the basic premise is that you choose a different colored object to be sort of a portal through which when your player object, like the bounce jumping ball, hits this yellow object, it goes to the next level. So you can make this kind of a goal. Um, so uh, create that object and then uh, create a second backdrop and just so that you can see it I'll I don't know I'll just select this one um, and so now you can see that we have two different backdrops here and we need to maintain a consistent um, color that is the sort of floor uh, so we need to add a floor and I'll convert this to vector uh, I'm not quite sure if that's important um, but we're gonna add a floor to this backdrop and I'll just fill it so it's easier to see it um, and you obviously can choose a better color than that um, so now we have a new backdrop and we need to do a couple different things to the ball script so we need to say that when this is clicked if it touches that color, we want it to switch to the new backdrop. So, if touching color, and we'll select that yellow color, when touching color, so you click the green and then you click on the color that is your portal, when that is clicked, so that just means do it all the time. Um, and I guess we could put in a forever block. Uh, forever. Yeah, we should put in a forever block, excuse me. If touching color that, then we want to do something. And in this case, the way Scratch conveys different action or uh, events to different parts of the game is it broadcasts messages. So like, when this is clicked, uh, Anytime it touches this yellow color, the ball should broadcast message one. Well, great, but we don't have anything receiving message one yet. Um, and so then you click on the background and actually add a script to the background. So then you say, when I receive message one, when I hear it, it'll broadcast it to all the scripts and everything. When I hear message one, we want to switch to... Under looks, you can say go to the next backdrop. And so now, if we play our game, we can jump around with our ball. And we jump up on that platform and we jump and it switches. So you can use that to create multiple levels and that's what I would like you to do today. I would like you to create some sort of jumping or uh, platform or game with multiple levels. Um, that switches, so like maybe three or four different levels, and actually try and create uh, sort of challenging levels of some sort. The other thing that you can do is add another color um, that is sort of a uh, death color. So we'll do that right now also. Uh, so under backdrops, and we'll just choose a certain color to be kind of game over color. So, I can select, I'll just add this little red thing here, and fill it in. And so then we can say under the scripts for the ball, anytime the ball touches that color, so we need another uh, forever block, we'll just copy this one, and we'll put it right there. But we're going to say, if touching color red, we're going to stop the program. So we're going to say stop all, and I always forget where that is, it's under control, stop all. And you could have it go to like a game over screen or something and do something different, that would be fine. Um, but I'll just play this now so that you can see that in fact it does stop. So we can, if we're just jumping around, and then oops, we hit that. You can notice that the green arrow is now over, it didn't do anything, it should uh, show some sort of screen like game over or something um, but so you can add those two things to your 
jumping ball project or start a new project and create a basic platformer. All right, that's it.